Charlie Munger. He's Warren Buffett's right-hand man, and he's a big reason why Warren Buffett is so rich today. He essentially changed the way Warren Buffett invests his money from buying cheap, average businesses to buying good quality, fairly priced businesses. He has a net worth of $1.8 billion, and this has come from being a shrewd investor and a shrewd businessman. Now, what I want to do in this video is take a deeper look into Charlie Munger's portfolio. What are the stocks that he has bought to make him rich? I'll give you a quick clue, it's not that many. Munger, he does not like diversification. He was asked in an interview whether he was happy with a non-diversified portfolio. He said this, he said, am I comfortable with a non-diversified portfolio? Of course I am comfortable. If you take the Mungers, I care about the Mungers. The Munger family only owns a few stocks. The rest is dribs and jabs. So am I comfortable with a few stocks? Am I securely rich? You're damn right I am. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. We're going to go over the seven main stocks owned by Charlie Munger. Now I want to be clear here. Three of these stocks are the ones owned by the Munger family. Yes, the Munger family only owns three stocks. The rest are dribs and drabs, as Charlie said. And the other four stocks that I'm going to show you are the ones in which Charlie Munger manages the portfolio of. So Charlie, he manages the portfolio over at the Daily Journal Corp and his investments have been only four listed stocks. Anyway, let's go over these key stocks owned by Charlie T. Munger, one of the greatest investing minds of all time. So Charlie Munger owns over 180,000 shares in Costco and it makes up a very big percentage of the Munger family's portfolio. Uh, unfortunately, they do not have to disclose the exact amount of the portfolio that it makes up. But Charlie absolutely loves the stock and he has actually called it his favorite company outside of Berkshire Hathaway. He said, it's one of the most admirable capitalistic institutions in the world and its CEO, Jim Senegal, is one of the most admirable retailers to ever live on this planet, he gushed. I just can't say enough about my admiration for Costco. More of you should look at Costco. In fact, every time Donald Trump says something and you get discouraged, you should think about Costco. Uh, that's a high amount of praise for someone of Charlie Munger's prestige. But anyway, we should probably get into talking about what the company actually is. And to be honest, I think most of you will probably already know this. What Costco is, Costco is the second largest retailer in the world and they're ranked 14 on the Fortune 500 rankings of the largest US companies in terms of total revenue. I mean Costco, they pretty much sell it all when it comes to their products. They obviously do groceries, health and personal care, electronics, clothing, beauty, sports, jewelry. They do it all. And they sell these products, generally speaking, at great prices. Low cost to the consumer. So the question now becomes, why does Charlie Munger own Costco and have so much of his net worth in it? Well, I'll let Munger answer that. He said... It has a frantic desire to serve customers a little better every year. When other companies find ways to save money, they turn it into profit. Senegal, the co-founder, passes it on to customers. It's almost a religious duty. He's sacrificing short-term profits for long-term success. Costco, they have a mission to serve customers over the long term, this works, and it's one of the reasons why they've been able to build the company to a market cap of $130 billion, one of the things that has helped make Charlie Munger a wealthy man. It should come as no surprise to anyone that knows Charlie Munger that he has a good portion of his net worth in Berkshire Hathaway. Now, he does not have to disclose the exact percent that he owns in Berkshire, but if I had a guess, it would be over 30%. Uh, now, let me quickly explain to you what Berkshire Hathaway actually does, and then I'll show you why Munger owns Berkshire. 
Berkshire Hathaway is a conglomerate holding company. This basically just means it's a company that invests in a whole lot of businesses. I mean this image here will give you a pretty good idea of what Berkshire owns. Uh, they obviously own a bunch of companies outright including Geico, Seize Candy, NetJets uh, and Duracell, a lot of big names in this list. And the stocks that Berkshire own include Coca-Cola, Wells Fargo, Apple, Southwest Airlines. Again, some pretty big names in that list. But what you need to know is that if you own Berkshire, you own a range of good quality companies and stocks. And who's at the top of the company investing most of the company's money? Well, Warren Buffett, the greatest investor in the world. Charlie Munger, he's been friends with Warren Buffett for over 60 years and he has known this fact. The question should be, why would Charlie Munger not invest in Berkshire Hathaway? It's pretty obvious why he owns so much Berkshire stock. Okay, this is very interesting. A good portion of Charlie Munger's money is with an investment fund by the name of Himalaya Capital managed by someone called Lei Lu. Himalaya Capital is a China focused investment fund and Lei Lu, Charlie Munger calls the Chinese Warren Buffett. Munger has around 400 to 500 million dollars with Lei Lu's Chinese focused fund. Charlie Munger, he was asked about what his thoughts were on Lei Lu. He said this, he's partly a Chinese Warren Buffett, that really helps. Uh, he said partly he's fishing in China, not in this oversearched, overpopulated, highly competitive American market. Either way, it should not surprise you that Charlie Munger has a significant portion of his personal family's portfolio with Himalaya Capital. It exposes his net worth to China and of course it's managed by the Chinese Warren Buffett's Lei Lu. Okay, now we're moving on to the portfolio that Charlie Munger manages through the Daily Journal Corp. Those first three stocks were the ones Charlie Munger has his personal net worth in. Yes, he only has three main investments for his personal family's net worth. Uh, as I mentioned before, Charlie Munger, he's not a fan of diversification and with the portfolio that he manages, it's the same thing. They only own four stocks. The first one is a stock called Wells Fargo, which Charlie Munger has invested 1.6 million shares in, accounting for $80.3 million worth. And the stock makes a total weighting of 51.6% of the portfolio managed by Charlie Munger. So, Wells Fargo, I'm sure most of you will know the company, they're the fourth largest bank in the world, they offer the different banking and investment management services to individuals, small businesses and commercial as well. Commercial banks make money by providing loans to customers and then earning interest on those loans. That is one example of how Wells Fargo make money. But of course they make money through managing people's investments and other means as well. Why am I talking so much about banks? Well because most of Charlie Munger's portfolio is in this sector. In fact, as you'll see now, stocks 5 and 6 are both banking related stocks. So, Bank of America, Munger's invested $67 million in which it makes up 43.1% of the portfolio and US Bank Corp is $7.7 .7 million worth making up 5% of the portfolio. Those are both bank stocks. The question that you should logically ask from this is why has Charlie Munger invested so heavily into bank stocks? I mean it makes up pretty much the whole of his investment portfolio that he manages. This is what Munger said. The banking industry has been a gold mine. I think Warren and I blew it. We should have invested a lot of money in banks. He's talking back in the day. Uh, well we did well in it, we should have been heavier in it. The amount of money made in banking has been awesome. And this despite the fact that the people who made the money, how shall I say it, 
have been moderately skillful. So, you know, even though bankers have been moderately skillful, they still can make a lot of money in this bank business. That's one reason why Munger own so much bank stocks and two because they're just so cheap they were cheap in 2009 when he bought them and they're cheap now in 2019 when Warren Buffett is still buying them I mean just look at the PE ratios of these things Wells Fargo it's got a PE ratio of 10.7 uh, Bank of America PE ratio of 11.6 US Bank Corp PE ratio 13.2 so you've got generally speaking not a bad business model a good way to make money plus cheap prices that's why Munger likes bank stocks the last stock owned by Charlie Munger's investment portfolio is one called POSCO they own 460 million dollars worth of the stock making up just 0.3% of the portfolio. Because it's such a small position of the portfolio, I don't want to talk about it too much. Basically what POSCO is, is they're a Korean based steel company. But Charlie Munger has sold out of most of his POSCO position, so it's not worth talking about too much. And those are the 7 stocks bought by Charlie Munger. Remember, the first three stocks were the ones Charlie Munger had his personal family's net worth in, and the last four was the ones in which he bought through the investment portfolio that he manages at the Daily Journal Corp. What the key thing that you'll notice with Charlie Munger's portfolios is he only owns very few stocks. His family net worth only relies on three investments, Cost Costco, Berkshire and Leilu's fund. A lot of people will think this might be stupid, but let's just say you met someone in your local town and they told you he owned three local good quality businesses. Would you think he's well enough diversified? Would you think he's a wealthy man? Of course you would. And Munger has the same theory with diversification. He says, the idea of excessive diversification is madness. The whole secret of investment is to find places where it's safe and wise to non-diversify. It's just that simple. Diversification is for the know-nothing investor. It's not for the professional. Charlie Munger. At the end of the day, if you can find a few good quality businesses at an appropriate price, they will end up making you a lot of money. Just like what happened with Charlie Munger.